Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Different dogs in various geographic areas have been honed by humans over the centuries to perform certain roles from hunter to protector, from herder to companion. Size has been an important player in the quest for excellence for some of these breeds. Today's video focuses on what we call powerhouses, the hawks of dogs. But just a heads up, you may feel the urge to own one of these if you haven't yet. Number 10. Irish Wolfhound when you talk about dogs that have earned their status as mighty and ferocious since ancient times, you can't leave out the Irish Wolfhound. This breed of dog has a history in Roman wars as a fierce gladiator that helped pull down men off their horses and chariots. Well, it's no wonder that such a tall and muscular dog with an average height of 30 to 35 centimeters while weighing about 105 to 120 pounds could achieve such feats. They were used for hunting, and only kings were allowed to own them in those days. These dogs have double coats with parts of their face covered with hair, and may vary in colors ranging from black, gray, white, or even red. One good look at the hound may give you quite some chills, but when properly trained, they could be friendly and pose as good companions, even to strangers. Although they might appear quite thin and calm to consider them powerful, you don't want to offend them to get a taste of their 224 PSI bite after being dragged down from your bike. Number 9. Newfoundland Now, this is a big dog, clocking in at 132 to 154 pounds and 27 to 30 inches in height, the Newfoundland dog breed is indeed a large breed. They have very strong bones and can be the cause of several injuries should they get aggressive. The Newfoundlands have vast and huge heads with thick, solid necks. They also have a very deep chest and long thighs. Imagine their speed or the kind of power kick they can give. Their coats mainly come in black colors and require regular and proper grooming to keep the good condition. These are very sociable and smart while being extremely sensitive to their master's voice, which means it's pretty easy to train them. As a dog owner, there's literally nothing more heartwarming than your doggo recognizing your voice for the first time. The Newfoundland dog hardly ever barks unnecessarily, although they are very protective and loyal to their family or masters. Newfoundland dogs are suited well for children as they are very calm and friendly and can detect threats with lightning speed. Still, adult supervision is essential because these are some really big dogs. Number 8. Anatolian Shepherd Dog The Anatolian Shepherd is a massive and robust breed of dog that is typically found in Turkey. They were originally developed and bred to protect livestock. This large breed can sometimes grow to be as heavy as 150 pounds and as tall as 26 to 31 inches. The Anatolian Shepherd Dogs are known for their agility and endurance. These dogs have big and round-shaped heads. The color of their medium-sized eyes range from brown to light amber. Their neck is thick and powerful, a common characteristic for guard dogs. The triangular-shaped ears of Anatolian dogs can be 4 to 6 inches in length and droop down to the size of their faces. Anatolian Shepherd dogs are very kind, intelligent, faithful, and protective. They are very suspicious of strangers and tend to bark a lot when they feel threatened. This breed loves to play with children, but I wouldn't advise that. These dogs are much too big and powerful to take the chances on children. Number 7. Tosa Inu Known as the Japanese fighting dog, the Tosa Inu was made to be a huge dog fighting machine. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that animal violence is a severe problem. Therefore, we will advise you never have a Tosa with another same-sex dog. Well, come to think of it, we ask you not to bring another dog at all. The same applies for cats. Tosais can demonstrate aggressive behavior towards cats and little puppies. In short, any animal that runs. For a livestock farm, this isn't your type of dog to keep. A Tosa Inu shouldn't be violent towards human beings, although coupled with its tremendous strength, the stamina and agility of this breed means that it must be well trained, well socialized, bred, and always under control. It's often characterized as silent, calm, and relaxed until aroused. 
If you're interested in having such a breed, kindly have a sign on your entrance to warn us. Number 6. Rhodesian Ridgeback The Rhodesian Ridgeback is native to South Rhodesia, now called Zimbabwe, where they are commonly called the African Lion Hound. These dogs, which usually come in brown colors, can weigh up to 70 to 85 pounds, and that's the weight of about two four-year-olds. Well, their weight is not the only thing that makes them very powerful. Their bite force, which is about 224 psi, is also something to be reckoned with. However, they are loyal intelligent, strong-willed, very confident, and child-friendly. Although you have to make sure they are well-trained before leaving them with kids. The unique characteristics of these dogs are in the rows of hair on the ridges of their backs that run in the opposite direction to others on their body. In Zimbabwe, ridgebacks are known as excellent hunting resources as they help keep big cats like lions at bay and distract them from their master's kill. You've got to agree with us that you wouldn't be so dumb to fight off a lion if you were not so powerful yourself. And that's the tale of the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Number 5. The Pit Bull Pit bulls are bred to be strong. After all, their original purpose was for baiting bulls. Later on, they became awesome family dogs, mainly because they are so good with children. They are both tenacious and courageous, but are more well known for enormous power, as demonstrated in the sport of weight pulling. They also are regular participants in obedience and agility competitions due to their intelligence. That being said, this powerful canine needs proper training to to get socialized. If you don't have a lot of time to spend with a pit bull, better to get another breed. A well-trained pit bull will be a great companion for a child. However, they can defend people from death if necessary. Compared to other dog breeds, they aren't the most intelligent, but are smart enough to learn a variety of commands quickly. They may be a handful, especially when on walks, as they do have the tendency to be aggressive towards other dogs. So, better to keep them on a strong leash. But if trained well, this intense intimidating breed can be timid and well-behaved as a newborn puppy. Number 4. Scottish Deerhound Bred to be a good hunter, the Scottish Deerhound is one of the world's oldest hunting breeds. Originally hailing from Scotland, big stock, the Deerhound was used to chase deer down. With its big bone and long legs, this dog is the perfect one for the job, as it can reach a max speed of 28 miles per hour, reaching up to 32 inches and weighing up to 110 pounds. This breed actually almost went extinct at one point. Thankfully, it was brought back from endangerment in the 19th century through conservation efforts. Loyal, affectionate, this big canine is the perfect dog for families with kids, on top of still being a fine hunting hound. Just be careful of having other animals, as they have natural hunter drive, so some attentive monitoring of their interactions is needed. Number 3. The Rottweiler Bulky with muscles of steel plus frightening strength to boot, the Rottweiler can be a docile creature or a frightful beast depending on its personality and that of its owner. Originally bred to herd livestock, it was also trained to be the earliest police dog and, of course, has almost legendary fame of a guard dog. They put their great strength to good use at wartime. This breed was drafted to do various jobs for the army, primarily ambulance dogs to pull wounded soldiers back to safety and pull heavy equipment to and from the battlefield. Number 2. French Mastiff The French Mastiff dog, also called the Doge de Bordeaux, is peculiarly characterized by its huge head and muscular body. An adult French Mastiff can grow as large as between 20 and 23 inches in height and can get as heavy as 137 pounds. French Mastiffs usually have very tough skin and the wrinkles on their face and necks typically make them look like a dried up old prune. Although, if we're honest, many dogs look like dried up old prunes. We love them either way. The massive head is the most intriguing part of this breed. They have small eyes and broad nose and short drooping ears. French Mastiffs can make the best rescue dogs and watchdogs with the right training. With consistent training and socialization, these adorable fur babies make the best companions for families with kids. Number 1. Siberian Husky when you take a good look at a Siberian Husky, you would think you found a wolf. And yes, they sure do look like a coyote, owning to their double layer fur, triangular ears, and their facial markings. 
More so, they do love to work in packs. These medium-sized dogs, which could grow to a height close to 50 to 56 centimeters, were initially bred to pull sleds along the cold plains of Siberia and can weigh up to 50 to 60 pounds. Individually, a Siberian Husky can pull half the weight of an average-sized man. In 1963, a Husky named Charlie won the world record as the most energetic dog when it pulled a 3,142-pound sled. Whoa! That's about the weight of a mid-sized sedan. Which one of these dogs did you find the best and would you like to own? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.